Hey, what's up everybody? Anthony Sevens back again for another product slash game review. And today we're going to be talking about Gaelco's 1994 game, Alligator Hunt. Let's rock and roll. Ignition sequence starts. So, uh, Alligator Hunt is a, an arcade game that came out in 1994 that was developed by a Spanish company called Gaelco. I think that's how you pronounce it, G-A-E-L-C-O, Gaelco. <laughs> but, uh, so the story of this is that you know, the, the, uh, the bravest soldiers, uh, two skateboarding kids are off to save the planet from a, a reptilian-like alien invasion. So that's the, uh, the nickname of the alligator hunt is like lizard people like aliens. Uh, and uh, it's like a, it's a shooter game. It's a shooting gallery game. So, you know, you're, you're, you start the game off as a kid on a skateboard and you're barrel rolling to the left and to the right and you're just shooting a bunch of aliens and ships and machines and, and things. And it, it's, you know, it, it, the, the best way that I can say that this game is like uh, in comparison to, it very much reminded me of uh, like Terminator 2, the arcade game, but being played with two buttons and uh, a joystick. Uh, or I should say three buttons and a joystick because you get the one button is you're shooting lasers another button is barrel rolling depending on what direction you're in and then the third button is your limited amount of missiles that you have and got to continue to collect throughout the game um, so as far as the challenge is, is there any challenge to this game I think this game really stops at it being fun. It is a very fun game. I think the graphics are very cool for being you know, 1994. Uh, as far as uh, you know, the little in-between animations that they show, it kind of reminds me of a, a Voltron Robotech type of vibe mixed with Terminator 2, the arcade game, uh, you know, with a very cheesy story. I mean, come on, skateboard kids were hired to kill aliens. I mean, it's <laughs> your like sci-fi movie special event right there. Um, but yeah, it, it is fun. The gameplay is on point. I think, you know, it, it's fun barrel rolling and shooting everything, blah, 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 but it stops right there as there really is no challenge to this game. When you die uh, and you, you know, add a bunch of credits and as soon as you die, you hit the, the button to go back into the game and you literally pick up exactly from where you left off, score and everything. So all that goes to show is that there's, it's, it's definitely not a game that you walk up to and say, ooh, today I'm gonna beat my high score because all that means is that you're gonna spend a lot more time playing and blowing things up than you previously did. And it just, it kind of seems like the, the global high scores are absolutely pointless on this game because all it shows again is that the people that did make the high scores, they just spent a crap load of time. Like I'm thinking like, did these people spend three or four days in a row nonstop playing this game? <laughs> because, you know, you think about games like Mortal Kombat where no matter where you're at in the game, when you die, your score resets to zero. So every time you go back to, and play, there is a personal challenge to it in saying, I'm gonna try to beat my high score, I'm gonna try to get on the leaderboard today. Uh, but with, with this game, with Alligator Hunt, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. There's, like, there's, there's no urge to want to go back to try to beat anything except, you know, today I want to try to make it farther than I did before. That's, that's pretty much what it is. So I can see a huge turnoff value and why there's a lot of people that actually don't care for this game. Because there's, there's nothing to fight for, if you will. Um, and you know, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, you know, but as far as, I think that this game, what it's really good for is if you're bored and you just want to blow a bunch of shit up 
and just have fun, you know, sit there with a drink and listen to some music and, and kill a bunch of aliens and machines. I think it's totally cool. Uh, when you have people over or friends or when we have co-op uh, capabilities available to us, I think it'd, it would be cool like, hey, let's play some al alligator hunting and, and, you know, kick some ass together for a little bit and, you know, gonna, you know, for maybe like two hours or something. And, you know, it's just, it's just a fun a fun shooter gallery game, that's all it is. Uh, if I do have to say one thing that was kind of aggravating to me, is that like, as you can see here, you know, you got the kid on the skateboard and uh, you know, he's shooting aliens and stuff like that. But the, the, the whole skateboard kids portion, it lasts for a short period of time. Well, much shorter than I expected. I, I found that within an hour's worth of gameplay that I was, in a starship, like in a little spaceship for about, you know, 80% of the time. So it's just kind of like, well, what's the point of these kids being skateboard kids if you're in a spaceship for a majority of the time when you're playing? So, you know, it did get to a point where you're playing, you're playing, you're dying, you're, you're coming back to life, you're dying, you're coming back to life. And it does get to a point where it's just like, okay, I've been on this game long enough. So you just simply you know, shut it off and go play another game. So I guess that's, that's really the downside to it all. Uh, but you know, other than that, um, you know, is it worth you know, 10 bucks, you know, seven to $10? Um, if you've got the money to piss away, I say go for it. You'll have, you'll have fun on it. I think you know, kids would honestly enjoy the hell out of this game for sure. Uh, but I don't think that it's uh, capable enough to hold an adult's attention for more than just until they get tired of playing. Because again, there's nothing to fight for. There's, <laughs> there's no challenge to it at all when you can just pick up from where you left off and continue with your score uh, until the end of time. So, But that's all I got. So I mean, I think if, if I had to rate this game uh, between uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being we need to erase this game from existence, and 10 being like, holy crap, you need this game, uh, I'd probably give it about I'd probably give it about a, a, a 6.5 on my scale, because it is. It, it, I think the graphics are cool, the gameplay's cool, it is a fun game, but it just does not go anywhere beyond just being a fun little shooter gallery game. And uh, that's all I got for you. This is Anthony Seven signing off. Until we meet again, please take care of yourself, take care of each other.